Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. We have so much going on in the cottage right now. Um, I don't even know where to start. I do not, okay, I do know where to start. I'm gonna introduce you to this gorgeous little baby girl you're looking at. Um, so, <laughs> I've got babies coming, I've got babies going, I've got, um, you know, seasonal wear, Hello, you know, I've got to get babies into Halloween costumes, um, <laughs> I'm answering emails and, and Facebook messages about babies that are for sale from my dear friend Jenny, um, I've got, oh gosh, I've got all kinds of hauls coming in for the twins and my new silicone baby that are going to be arriving. Oh Lord, please, this week. Um, anyway, uh, we are going to start by, um, I'm going to introduce you to this baby that you are looking at in the camera. And we are going to change her. And shh, you guys. The, you know, I already, I always say this, I always say this, you know, uh, how hard it is to sell um, babies for my friends because, you know, I get attached to them. I mean, they're here in the nursery and I'm, you know, dressing them and doing their hair and loving on them. And, um, but you know what, they always find such wonderful mommies that, and the, and the mommies are so happy that, you know, I feel okay about letting them go. But this this little girl, oh gosh, is it's going to be painful. <laughs> I kid you not. For one thing, this little girl was reborn by an artist that I have been coveting for a long time. I absolutely love her work. And this is who I am referring to. Tammy Annette from Paper City Dolls, creating one-of-a-kind reborn dolls to cherish for a lifetime. Like, honestly, her work is, her realism is amazing. Absol her work is amazing. So that is who this absolutely adorable little red-haired boy or girl um, was reborn by. Now... This baby at birth was named Falcon, which is a really cool name, actually. Um, she weighs six pounds. She is 19 inches long. She is the Zaza kit by um, Adri Stoetti, and her artist is Tammy Annette. And here is her COA. She is the Zaza kit. I mean, look at that face. Like, what? So cute, you guys. So, so, so cute. Now, was this a limited edition? Let me see. Okay, I'm thinking... I don't know. Comment down below if you know, but it, it looks to me like this is a limited edition sculpt. Now, this is the really interesting thing about this gorgeous little red-haired cutie. She is a cuddle baby. And you're going to see that um, because I am going to change her into this really pretty um, Carter's sleeper that has, well, it has hand mitts, um, beautiful mauve and periwinkle blue and yellow flowers, cute little ruffle on the sleeves, you know, of course, brand new. Um, so she will be coming home with this. And, of course, all her paperwork and what you see her wearing. Um, now, oh, gosh, she's so cute, you guys. I just can't get over it. I think it's her. It's She has just absolutely, let's see if I can get you in closer. She has absolutely gorgeous German glass eyes. And... I don't know if it's the eyes or how they were placed, but she has this slightly startled look on her face, which I find really endearing for some reason. I think it's because my son used to do that. He used to get like a startled look on his face on occasion. Um, and her red hair, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say about her mono-rooted 
um, red hair. I'm assuming it must be human hair because it's so, um, it's, it's so straight and yeah, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. <laughs> she's so beautiful. I'm going to take her past her. Now, I want to point out a couple of little things about this girl. One is, I think her pacifier magnet has slipped because I went through all of my, um, I went through all of my pacifiers and let me tell you guys, I have a collection and the only one, and this is just like one of those little, um, you know, they're actually for play dolls to be honest. Um, the only one that I could get to actually really sit on her face and stay is this one. Um, but as you can see, it sits kind of, you can still see her top lip. And then the other ones that I tried, they sat like way, they sat way down here. So I'm assuming just in transport, um, because this baby, um, you, whoever uh, purchased this baby will be third mommy. So um, first mommy was Shara from Reborn Living Dolls. She purchased her, I'm assuming, from the artist. Um, and you can go back and check with her. Um, she can certainly tell you, you know, about this baby because she was first mommy. And then second mommy, of course, was my friend Jenny. And then wh whoever um, decides to purchase this gorgeous little girl. I'm, and she can be a girl or a boy. I mean, she's all girl to me. I've been calling her Posy. Because, <laughs> I don't know, she just looks like a Posy to me. But um, she can certainly be... Um, a boy as well but like I said she's all girl to me so that will probably have to be adjusted she will probably have to have her head removed and her magnet um, you know the glue cleaned up and then the magnet slid up more behind her mouth than you know down here because it's seems like the seems like it's wanting to to, to sit about there It's not too bad. I mean, if you get the right kind of pacifier, it's not too bad, actually. Other than you can see her top lip a little bit. But anyway, um, the other thing that I wanted to point out about this gorgeous, gorgeous baby girl is she um, has mono-rooted um, lashes, uh, red, red, you know, strawberry blonde or reddish lashes but she has lost some on her right eye. So she has still quite a few lashes on her left eye, but she has lost some lashes on her right eye. So I don't know if you guys would call those boo-boos. Um, I guess you could call them boo-boos. Um, I personally, I mean, they, it's doesn't, they don't bother me in the least, but... Um, you know, I'm always very, very careful when I'm selling dolls of my own or selling dolls for friends of mine. I'm always very careful to, to disclose any possible little flaw. Um, because the last thing I would want is for somebody to receive a baby and, you know, not love it as much as, um, you know, the previous mommy loved it. So um, I wanted to disclose those things. But... Um, on a good note, she is exquisitely painted, absolutely exquisitely painted. Um, her hair is exquisitely mono-rooted, like, oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, just, her hair is just, I mean, it's luscious, and you know what, the color is so gorgeous so so gorgeous so I'm just gonna lay her here and um, so she's newborn size um, actually the sleeper that I have here for her is preemie and I switched out her onesie for a preemie her long sleeve onesie for a preemie um, because I kind of feel like preemie fits her better I mean you certainly and I put a smaller diaper on her than what she came in um, her, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, her cuddle body is, am is amazing. I've never, I've actually never seen a cuddle body, you guys. Here, I'm just going to lift you up. 
I've never seen a cuddle body before. I've never actually had access to a cuddle baby before. And I kind of always thought that I would like one. Um, and now having the opportunity to, to spend time with Zaza, um, or Posey as I've been calling her, um, I, yeah, I definitely think that a cuddle baby might be a baby that I would like to have in my nursery because, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, yeah, they're cuddly. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than they're cuddly. Anyway, she came wearing a newborn a long sleeve onesie. I switched her to a preemie. I like it much better. It fits nicer around the neck. Um, and I will leave this on her for, uh, for her, you know, new mommy. Um, her cuddle body is beautiful. It's joint. It's you know. It's jointed. Um, it has these cool little Velcro, um, little Velcro things right here that you can open. So if you want to, you know, add more stuffing or weighting, um, she's not weighted really heavily. She's got glass beads in her in her like her entire foot is glass beads, um, and her entire hand is glass beads, and then I. I can't really feel any weighting in her body otherwise. Don't quote me on that. I can't feel any weight. She may have a pocket of glass beads kind of in her booty area. It's hard to tell because she is quite nicely stuffed. I mean, she's, to me, she's a good weight. I mean, she's, I would be satisfied with this weight. But, you know, to each his own, right? Look at that face. Look at that face. I don't know if you can see or not, but um, she has like pretty much full lashes on this eye and this eye, she's only just got a few little sparse last lashes. And, you know, when babies are, you know, are have secondhand, thirdhand, you know, babies, which I have purchased many, um, they always had lashes missing and certainly not because um, the mummies were, you know, not caring for them. It just seems that the, um, you know, dressing, pulling clothing over babies' heads, eventually the lashes do just, um, you know, get pulled out. That just seems to be a thing with babies that have been through a couple of mummies. So, you know, if that's not a big deal to you or if you're a rooter, um, you know, you could certainly um, add a few more lashes and her lashes are, the ones that she does have are this gorgeous, gorgeous, oh my God, I love this baby. <laughs> Help! Anyway, let's put this sleeper on her. Um, the one she's wearing is, um, and she'll of course come home with this one, and this is newborn. Super, super cute sleeper. Um... I, can't, I haven't got my glasses on it just I think it says tiny baby so um, so you know she'll come home with uh, in this sleeper and um, she also has a um, she has a few other little goodies um, that she'll come home with but you know given the price that uh, that um, her mommy is asking um, certainly you know a box opening wasn't really um, planned because these babies are going for budget prices and I mean this is a high high-end baby I mean if you know anything about Paper City dolls she is a very high-end artist and uh, and this baby is going for you know a, a, a budget baby price so that's why there's no um, big box opening to go with her um, and I don't know you know having some missing lashes and then the the, the magnet a little bit um, dislodged I'd really like to hear from you guys down below if you don't mind um, is that considered a is is that considered a boo-boo baby because to me those are not boo-boos to me boo-boos are like you know a, a, a rip or a uh, or a scratch or you know because those things are so easily fixed um, whereas you know I always think of boo-boos as being things that you know you can't necessarily fix 
or you know not oh this see this fits her per oh my gosh look how cute you guys look how cute oh my gosh look how cute she looks okay and this has got the hand mitts on it too so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with the tags oh yeah I can do it with the tags if I'm sending brand new ho clothes home, I always like to leave the tags on just, you know, so people know that, I mean, what was the sleeper? It was $14 Canadian. I just always like people to know that their clothes are all nice and fresh and brand new. So, oh my gosh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Anyway, this baby's adoption price is $400 um, USD. Um, and like I said, she will come home with uh, both of these sleepers and, um, you know, a few other goodies. And, uh, and of course, all her paperwork, um, which she has, you know, three different paperwork items. Um, and then her shipping would be 50 USD. I found that, um, you know, regardless of where you live in the U.S., 50 U.S., is enough uh, to pretty much get, um, you know, small or, uh, you know, zero to three, from newborn to zero to three month babies where you want to get them for that price. So, so if you are interested in little Zaza, um, I will put my email down below and, um, or, or I'll put it in the comments actually so you can message me on email and let me know you're interested. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and as always, take care.